Pharmacists have done an incredible job over the past 18 months, continuing to put the health and welfare of their patients and communities first in increasingly difficult circumstances. The pandemic has been hard for many, and I know many of you have had to pivot your practice during the pandemic. I would like to acknowledge each and every one of you from all walks of practice who remained on the front line since day one of this global health crisis. You have stepped up when your patients have, and communities have needed you the most. You have had to contend with public panic, anxiety, constantly changing regulations, medicine shortages, and in some cases, unfortunately, abusive behaviour. You've also had to contend with the fear of becoming sick and the fear of taking it home to your own families. You have stepped up once again to expedite the vaccine rollout, which is now starting to pay significant dividends for the Australian community. We have recently surpassed half a million doses administered by community pharmacists. And I know that number is much higher when you include those who have been administering vaccines in other settings. I would like to thank each and every one of you for your hard work, dedication, passion and professionalism under immense pressure and uncertainty. On behalf of the team here and the board of directors, we would like to acknowledge the tremendous effort and the significant volume of work that the industry as a whole has achieved over the last 18 months. COVID has impacted so much of the profession and it's provided such an opportunity for staff, for pharmacists, for pharmacy assistants, for their teams to work through developing their training, developing their skill set, and being able to provide community pharmacy with a wealth of knowledge, support and opportunity. As I'm recording this message, there are over 900 people admitted to hospitals in Australia for the treatment of COVID-19, with 170 in intensive care. Each one will have hospital pharmacists, supported by pharmacy technicians and assistants, help to ensure they receive the most appropriate care. The clinical impact of COVID has been felt most acutely in our hospitals. Our members and their medical and nursing colleagues continue to work tirelessly on the front line to reduce the impact of outbreaks for all who need our hospital services. Hospital pharmacy has also been central to the COVID-19 vaccine rollout nationally, a driving force behind the state and territory clinics that have now administered well over 7 million doses. So thank you to all hospital pharmacists and technicians on behalf of a grateful community and to all pharmacists across Australia who continue to rise to the challenge. Community pharmacies provide a national network of patient care access points right across Australia. You are highly trained and highly trusted by the communities you serve. Now these past 18 months have taken the level to which your patients rely upon you to new heights. My name is Suzanne Greenwood and I'm the Executive Director of the Pharmacy Guild of Australia. And on behalf of the Guild, we wish to say thank you. Unfortunately, this sprint marathon to Australia's fully vaccinated finish line has not yet been reached, but you are integral to that success. So keep up the amazing work and thank you. I'd like to thank all of you for the work that you've done during this pandemic. Um, you've shown real commitment, but that commitment has been in the face of working in a climate of low morale caused by poor paying conditions lack of uh, career progression and high workloads. In particular, I'm concerned about the high workloads you're facing as demands on your increase, especially with the, uh, the vaccination rollout. You can only safely do so much. If you've got any concerns about unacceptable workloads and not sure about what to do, you're most welcome to contact us and uh, discuss strategies that can help you address this. Again, thank you and please be safe and stay safe. PDL would like to thank Australian pharmacists for their untiring efforts in helping Australia to deal with this pandemic. We have been proud to be able to assist you with our four professional officers providing support around the country, helping you to navigate 
the ever-changing landscape of being a pharmacist in Australia. We would also like to thank all of the people involved in the pharmacist support service who provided a listening ear to pharmacists on some of their toughest days. To all of you, we salute your courage, turning up day after day, not knowing what was coming to visit you. Your dedication to our patients and to each other makes us want to be our best for you. Thank you and stay safe. I'd like to do a big shout out to our profession from the advancing pharmacy education perspective. Firstly, to students who've battled online learning and postponed placements and having to still pass exams. To our pharmacy academics and teachers who've had to flip their learning to online teaching and work in difficult university situations. To our interns who've had their learning and practice curtailed and have to have risen to the challenge of new ways of working in stressful environments and sit the registration exams. To our preceptors who've supported our interns in the workplace and our students while coping with difficulties, stresses of patients and staff shortages. To our professional bodies, including the pharmacist support services, who've helped ph pharmacists who've had a lot of stress this year, and to our APC team themselves, who've worked really hard to get exams so they could be online for our interns. I'm very proud to be part of our profession. Thank you all so, so much. On behalf of all of the NAPSA members and pharmacy students all throughout Australia, I would like to thank you, each and every one of you, for your ongoing support, commitment and dedication to healthcare throughout the last 18 months. In a time of crisis, you've stepped up, you've adapted to challenges and taken on new roles and responsibilities that truly showcase how resilient we are as a profession. It has inspired us as pharmacy students, and I would like to thank you for all of your hard work and for motivating us as the future generation of pharmacists to really pioneer healthcare and ensure that we provide optimal outcomes for all of our patients in times of need.